What if we could screen for thousands of diseases all at once with just a single drop of blood? What if we could search out and destroy cancer cells without surgery or chemotherapy? What if we could restore eyesight by injecting tiny particles that help the body repair injured nerves? These scenarios may seem far-fetched, but they are among the long-term goals of researchers working in the new field of nanomedicine. But what is nanomedicine? Nanomedicine is the application of nanotechnology to medicine. Nanotechnology is the science of the small, the science and now, these days, also the engineering and applications of very small structures. It's kind of like a giant game of Lego, only it is very small, and the building blocks are molecules and atoms. If you look in biology, most of the components of your cells and all of your proteins are all nanoscale objects. So what doctors need are tiny tools that can work with fantastic precision at the nanoscale, the size of the smallest working parts of our bodies. Nanotechnology has created so many materials with really unique and distinctive features. It gives us a new toolbox to try and address many unmet medical needs. How do you bring the drug to the right place? How do you avoid the biological barriers? These are problems that are very well suited for a solution that is a teamwork solution. Hundreds of teams of researchers are exploring exciting new ways to better diagnose and treat disease through nanomedicine. Each new technique will need to go through years of testing to ensure that it will work and that it will be safe. I think that nanomedicine is going to bring us a number of really significant breakthroughs in the coming years. It's also going to allow us to evolve some of the current technologies into things that work a little bit better. If it's one of many ways, that's also very exciting because the bottom line is that we want people to be well.